summer will be you in red, white, and blue fashions that'll take you from a day at the beach to a night on the town. Plus, get ready to cool off with a kick, because we're serving up cocktails you'll be knocking back poolside. And country superstar Hunter Hayes is performing the hit you'll be blasting all summer long. This is The View with Whoopi, Nicole Wallace, Rosie Perez, and today, Cristela Alonso and style expert Stacey London are in the co-host chairs. It all starts now. to the view. Welcome to the view, y'all. Yeah. Happy Memorial Day. That was a hit song, I Want Crazy, by Hunter Hayes. Who... He's in the house today, so we're going to be partying with Hunter later on. It's also, I'm just going to say, the friend of ours' birthday today. Happy birthday, you. because I, I love a birthday. You know, Memorial Day is the unofficial kickoff for summer, but please do not forget why Memorial Day still matters. Yeah. It began in 1866 after the Civil War to honor fallen soldiers. Yes. So we always want folks to know. It's, it's a great summer day, but it has a, a deeper meaning. Absolutely. And you have some yeah, I mean, great... 1.2 million people have given their lives protecting this great country, so it's a day to honor all them. And, and today there are 250,000 active duty personnel still serving all over the world. Yeah. So. Yes. And, and I always think about that, that when I blow out my birthday candle. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a little prayer for the active right. troops. Right. Well, you have to. Well, well, saying that, there is actually, there is a law that Congress had passed that states that at 3 p.m. on Memorial Day, we should have a moment of silence. Yes. And most people don't know, it, it, you are legally obligated in the United States to just stop and think about all the servicemen and women that have given their lives for our freedom. Yeah. So, That's right. That's right. So, here's a group. A lot of kids are getting psyched up for their summer plans. Now, when you kids were younger, y'all, <laughs> what'd you do on summer break? Oh, yeah, I went to camp. I mean, I think that my parents didn't realize that I knew my last name. Because all of my clothing had the label Stacy London in it, all the way through college. Your parents, did they buy your clothes all the way through? No, they didn't buy my clothes. They would just sneak in and put in those iron yeah, labels as that as they would as order. As they said, Stacy London. As a mother with a label maker, that's because you never bring them home. Oh. <laughs> she brought other things home. But she did not bring the clothes back. No. Well, right. we were poor, so I shopped at Goodwill, and I think I used to find your old clothes because they had the tags that said Stacy London. And I'm like, all right. That's I, I bet you got all those socks, too, right? Because I always lost the socks. I went to camp. I went to, and, and it was probably one of the best things that ever happened to me. The, uh, Why? Well, because I got to meet lots of different people who at the time were young 16, 17 year olds who were watching the world change and were telling us through music and through leadership um, that we had a choice in the lives that we wanted. And I still, I think I sang for you the last time we had this discussion. I still have my camp song and those counselors made a, a huge impact on me and it's probably why I and partially the person I am, between them and my mom. They wow. really changed my life. Wow. So funny. I went to camp. I was poor, but it was through the, the church. They wow. sent me there. Mm -hmm. And um, I still know the song. Sing your song, babe. Really? <laughs> yeah. All right. Just a little bit of it. Yeah. Um, Talaco girls are coming. Can't you hear them coming? Talaco girls are coming. Can't you hear us say, T A L O K O. Yeah. What was the name of the camp? Palaco. I think I, I say 
I spelled it wrong, but it was Tlaco. I think that was it, or maybe that's the accent. I think that's what it was called. But I believe it was Tlaco Girls at Tlaco Girls Camp. Right. And I got to be in the camp play. I got to play uh, one of the munchkins. Surprise, surprise. Right. Um, <laughs> I was one of the lollipop right. kids. I was the lead lollipop kid. I love that. Who's the lead? The lead, the lead, lead lollipop kid. <laughs> Rosie Perez as a little girl <laughs> doing the lollipop kids. Are you ready? Yeah. No. No? Go ahead. We were pizza. The lollipop kids. The lollipop kids. The lollipop kids. We. A lot of pet owners apparently struggle with whether they should get someone to look after their pet or pay to put them in a kennel when they leave or just take their asses on vacation. <laughs> what do you guys do? We're about to go on vacation um, at a place that is a 20-hour drive away, and my son and I are, are flying, and my husband is driving the two dogs. So, I mean, you know, we don't leave our dogs, and I would Divide never. I don't know. I think they're, they're part of the family. And I don't know about you guys, but I would never subject my dogs to the pleasures of commercial airline travel. I mean, it's bad enough that we have to go through it. I mean, the sorry, you'll be on the tarmac for 11 hours. Yeah. What? <laughs> my dog has to pee. I mean, I, it's enough for I, I would never. Listen, my cat said, t try and take me somewhere. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and the, the one time I tried to override him, when I tell you, you, have you ever seen like one of those centrifugal force machines where stuff's going like this? This was the cat in the car. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> they don't trying know. to do he, Never, never. never. It's horrible. I hate it. No, it's not a great thing. It's not a great thing. You know, I think there's something else when I'm just survival, summer survival tips. It's high season for ticks. Oh, yeah. We were talking about this back stage. Mm. You know, this tick issue is oh. one that people, I think, don't realize. And for their pet owners, you know, it's important. It's important that you take care of your pets, you know, and people need to know, I guess, some of the ways uh, to remove the ticks, mm -hmm. to avoid sickness like Lyme disease. So Lyme disease is brutal. It's brutal. brutal. There's something this year that's worse. There's oh. actually a more deadly tick disease this year. So A new we, strain? Yeah, no. A a more strain. deadly disease than Lyme is called Powassan. And, um, and it's, it's, it's fatal. It's rare. I mean, I, I see these things. I'm like, oh, my God, I have it. And then my husband's like, there's only been one case, sweetie. Right. I'm sure it wasn't you. It wasn't you. They're dead. Um, but uh, ticks, are, ticks, ticks are a big thing. And, you know, dogs have. drain so it wouldn't get anybody and then the doctor's like where's the tick so um if you but, see ticks yeah. on your dog there's also a thing called the tick spoon which right. i love and it takes the whole tick off yeah. yes so, yeah beware of high grass yeah high high grass. Grass. i thought you were supposed to just suffocate them with clear nail polish no i don't have any nail polish <laughs> <laughs> how to be stylish and kill ticks i, have, <laughs> I don't know that i've ever heard of that but <laughs> i think we'll do a little more research and i can see why for you. <laughs> we'll be right back. There are so many new movies, TV shows, albums, and books coming your way this summer. You may actually be spending a lot of time indoors. Here with a full summer forecast, please welcome Entertainment Weekly correspondent Nina Torero. Hello, Nina. Summer movies. Okay, so what the we got? first one I want to talk to you about is Spy. It comes out June 5th and it stars one of my very favorite comedians, Melissa McCarthy. Oh, she's so fun. fun. She's so fun. So in the, you're jumping out of your seat. Are you dying to see Because I was like, it's Nina. Yeah. I know Nina. Yeah, I know Nina.
wanted you to get that out of your system. You could get rid of it literally like... I'm sorry I was blocking them like a wall. They couldn't yeah. see each other. <laughs> and then I went back. Oh, my God. And the other one is <laughs> Magic Mike. Mike. Oh, my yeah. gosh. It's going to be a hard star. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Who doesn't remember her and left her from the notebook, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it'll be fun. Okay. I, loved, I loved it last year. I'm glad it's coming back. I think, it, I think a lot of people that loved it loved it because of McConaughey and Woody. So exactly. this will be interesting to The challenge is to see whether they can outdo last year. But there's also oranges in these glasses. I was going to say oranges. <laughs> Netflix on June 12th, and I've got to say, the girls at Litchfield Prison, the drama is going to be there 110%. Piper is going to have a new love interest, and I got to say, Crazy Eyes has a new hobby. My she's, favorite. She's writing erotica. Can you believe yeah. that? Oh my God. Though, summer. summer music. Okay, so you really, if you've got a little girl, a best friend in your life, you've got to get tickets now for Taylor Swift's big concert Where? tour. tickets of the summer. She's going to be touring in the U.S. Oh, okay, so who doesn't remember as a girl kind of reading Judy Bloom during the summer, right? Right? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So now you can kind of recreate that experience again. Judy Bloom has a new book coming out. Um, it's actually in June, and it's called In the Unlikely Event, and it kind of draws from her personal memories growing up in Jersey and remembering a series of tragic plane crashes that occurred yeah. in her hometown. Oh. And she kind of weaves, like, the story of sadness through three different family generations, and I think it's really kind of deep. It's her first adult book um, in 16 it's years, so this wow. is one you've definitely got to pre-order and, you know, make sure you get to She's read She's quite one of it. Quite good. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, uh, Who's Correction. sold millions and Purity. Yeah, he's yeah. incredible. He's so brilliant. Purity is a really great book, I think, because it follows a girl, Purity, who tries to find and reconnect with her father. And the book takes her from the United States to South America and then to Europe, specifically East Germany before the fall of the Berlin Wall. And I gotta say, if you're on a budget this summer, you're staying at home, get this book because you'll get a little bit of that travel experience, I think, through the novel, he's which is really great. Well, don't forget that Stephen King has a new book. Oh. Yeah, if you're in the mood for scary stuff, what's the book? Keepers. Yeah. Find his papers. So many great things to take advantage of this summer. Great stuff this yeah. summer. And All right. Cole's book, too. Oh, yeah, my That's book. Right. Oh. Yeah. Now I'm blushing. <laughs> Our thanks to Nina Carrera. We'll be right back. Yay! This summer's hottest looks are hitting the catwalk with a red, white, and blue fashion show that's keeping America beautiful. Next. BC. Checking out this summer's hottest looks with the fashion director for People Style Watch, Kate Dimmick. Hello. 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 The beaches officially open this weekend, so let's check out some great red, white, and blue swimsuits. A must wear. Yeah. Taylor Swift. And what's surprising is a lot of women don't think it's easy to wear, but a high-waisted bikini is so flattering because it gets you at the smallest part of your waist. You guys look awesome. It also reminds me of sort of like a Marilyn Monroe beach. Yeah, like yeah. A no, it's right? fantastic. Yeah. And I love the one piece, too, with the sweetheart neckline and the ruching on the side. I think it's so great on a curvy figure, too. It really plays it up, and it just, it's so incredibly flattering. Yeah, it's and beautiful. Look, these Gorgeous. ladies also did it with the accessories. Show them the cat eye sunglasses. Okay. Bikini is from this very hot swimwear designer, Lisa Marie Fernandez. So we're right on trend here. Yeah. Love it. Love Beautiful. It. Love it. Thank, Thank you. you guys. Yeah. Now, I think this is the time of year where you end up meeting sort of that semi casual nighttime. Exactly. Look, right? You never want to look like you're trying too hard in right. summer. Oh, you know what I mean? You want to go way. out. You See, I end up on the other side of that. People well, are like, oh, you didn't try hard enough. Oh, uh, no, no. We've no, got no. to. Yeah. Okay. I love a wide, like a wide leg pant for summer for that moment is so perfect. And I'm also thinking that stripes. Vertical stripe is 
much more flattering than a horizontal, right? Yeah. And the idea of, you know, again, you can wear stripe on stripe, but you just have to follow a few simple rules. Can you give me those rules? I, I think I need to write rules. them down. Okay. Stripe so, on stripe. Stripe on stripe, but your stripes have to be different widths, right? Okay. So, and then also same keep it in the same color, color family. Yeah. You can't get anything You know all the answers. I know. Yeah. I know. Sorry, back sorry, sorry. Okay. But, but can I ask you a question? Please. Are crop tops still in? I, we cannot make them go away. They will not stop. So they are here. <laughs> doing a little crop top with a sort of more a looser pant is, is kind yeah. of the, the new combination and I think it looks a little bit more stylish. You look and like Kate Middleton. I know the end of models can't talk. I'm always waving at the models. Right, right. I know. You're, like You're Kate. always waving at them. We, we went to fashion week. I was waving at all of them. I wanted, oh. I was like, I wanted to feed them. They're, but... they're at work. Yeah, okay. I they're know. Working. But they, they're so pretty. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> What would you, what sort of the look to aspire to for a couple attending a summertime barbecue? Well, a gingham, surprisingly, was a gingham. huge gingham. gingham was a huge dress. Huge dress on the runway. From Michael Kors to Austin Beeler and Todd, it was high fashion. Therefore, making it the ideal barbecue look, right? And I love this cute little dress. It's from Mod Cloth. So okay. adorable. I love the back of it. Exactly. That little peekaboo in the back kind of makes it a little bit sexier. And the idea of pairing a girly dress with sneakers is so on trend right now. That's something that we're seeing. Oh my God, I still have those sneakers, I'm just saying. You know? them less sweet when there's a cutout, right? Exactly. Something that makes it a little bit more sophisticated. Completely. And I think, again, the idea of pairing it with sneakers is really modern and very fresh. Love it. And we can't forget our boy here. No, he's okay. he's, he's, he's more than just an accessory. Yeah, yeah, boy. Exactly. He's adorable. I know you can't talk to me, but you're very cute. Right. Don't right. leave me <laughs> Um, the Nantucket red shirt is yeah. so perfect for a summer barbecue, and I like that it. It doesn't really come from Nantucket. That's what I've heard. It's the shorts. It starts with the shorts, right? It does. Like, yeah. Red yeah. Yeah. Red yeah. 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 Exactly. So okay. um, that Very idea, cute. but again, it's that heavy broadcloth cotton, and it doesn't look as pressed and kind right. of finished as a regular button-down. But it doesn't get as wrinkled as linen. Exactly, Stacy. Wow. You get a new, you get a gold star. Okay, totally. You're cheating. And for the boys, fedoras, you can still wear them, but it has to have that shorter brim. I'm oh, really? Saying. I don't know why. I, I, that's just, they're a rule, Stacey. They're and you have to have the shorter See, brim. See, I feel like if Don Draper went to the beach, that's what he'd wear. You yeah. look very cute. Yeah, yeah very cute. Right. Very timeless. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Okay. All right, now, um, everything I know about jumpsuits, I learned from Stacey London. I know. You can whip out the jumpsuits now. We're going to bring a jumpsuit okay. for you. All right. It's the key piece of summer. And, of course, Stacey, like, she was a spoiler right there. Oh, my God. This is a lane ride. It's a fantastic jumpsuit. Not only is it strapless, not only is it great for curves, what I love is that it doesn't do red, white, and blue in an obvious way, yeah. right? So you're like, oh, look, I'm an American flag. This looks just super duper fashionable color palette. Yeah, it's very chic. And I think it has sort of the impact of wearing a maxi dress, but it's a little bit more, it's a little modern. It's a little bit easier to wear, actually. And I think it looks great on her. It looks amazing. Awesome. I yeah. love yeah. the belt. Yeah. Is that a no, it comes with the jumpsuit, but yeah, it looks great, and you could do this even with a flat sandal and make it a little bit more casual. I so if it. you have a larger chest, what kind of bra do you wear with this? I mean, does it have to be strapless? I think it really does. You yeah. really have no choice. Yeah. But but strapless bras aren't what they used to be, Stacey no, that's Lemon. True. They're all better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have a few, and I had a baby. I need a bra that can do things, and they're much better than yeah. they used to be. I do okay. it. There's advanced technology. Oh, obviously, I missed out on the strapless oh, bra yeah. revolution. Yeah. You look hot. Yeah, okay. gorgeous. All right. Absolutely gorgeous. Model gorgeous. thing, I'll never get it. Gorgeous. Never get it. Gorgeous. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right, now I spend more money on my son. He's three, and I love putting him in summer garb. So I let's know. talk Don't about the kids. Off. What's well, cute for okay, them? So, Children's Place obviously oh. has you in mind. So, they have done a red, white, and blue collection for summer. It is one stop shopping for boys and girls, and the prices are good. Yeah. You guys. Right, and then they are very I gotta see the 
me shoes. Yeah. You're allowed to talk to me. Come over here. All right. Well, these are yeah. canvas. I, I love so these. And so I love they your rock. They can rock the stars and stripes yeah, in a way that they can rock. You can rock a star and a stripe. Amazing. Yeah. He yeah. feels rad. Okay, you gotta give everyone another spin because these are my favorite outfits. Yeah. No, they're amazing. They're very nice. Where did you get those? Where did you get those? It's all children's place. Which is great, it. and again, like you just one click and you've got it all. And if that's what you're looking one for, one click and you've got it all. I, well, you know that's yeah. how I shop. I think this is my favorite fashion show I've ever been to, including Fashion Week that stays. Wow, this is amazing! Thank you so I'm much. So thank, you. Thank, thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Our thanks to Kate Gibbett. For more information on any of these looks, check out our website. We'll be right back. The bar is open. The co-hosts are raising the glass with the summer's coolest cocktails. Next. I'm one. I'm one. I'm one. It's the start of backyard party season, and hey, it's 5 o'clock somewhere, so one of the pros from the TV show Bar Rescue is serving up the best summer cocktails of the season. Please welcome celebrity mixologist Russell Davis. Hello. Thank you. Thank you for having me. They made me promise I wouldn't ask you to come every day. So there you go. Um, now, we're going to start with something special that you've made for Rosie. What is yeah. that? So we're doing nice little summer cocktails. I want to do something that's really easy. And I know that you're a sangria fan, correct? Yes. So sangria was always a great way to get rid of basically your table wine. So what we're doing... So sangria is a Spanish wine-based drink, Yeah. Right? So what we're doing is we're doing another type of Spanish drink. <laughs> And then I'm going between a bartender and a mixologist? You know, so a bartender can be a mixologist, a mixologist can be a bartender, but take someone like me who doesn't actually work behind the bar anymore, really? and I'm actually a uh, mixologist, so I just mix right now. So I'm a ah. consultant. Ah, that's cool. what, what is this in here? So this is actually going to be a cola. So we've mixed a nice little red table wine. We've done cola, we've done orange, and then we topped it off with a little bit of cinnamon. And this cola in this fact is actually... <laughs> <laughs> And you just want a new drink. <laughs> <laughs> and so what this is is going to be a nice zero-calorie cola. This is natural flavors, no sugar. No and so sugar. we've done it to be no nice little healthy acid. for you. Yeah, so you're going to be drinking your red wine, nice, refreshing, beautiful summer cocktail. That is very good. Oh, yes, I guess. A brandy in my sangria. Okay, oh, yeah. add a shot of brandy. <laughs> send it back. We'll fix it, RP. We'll fix it. Okay. Uh, what do you like for a non alcoholic drink? I have a lot of guests, and especially in the summer, it's hot. What, what have you got for Whoopi? I want to do something that. Utilize the ingredients you're gonna have at your backyard barbecues okay. anyway. So a little bit of watermelon juice. I love mm. watermelon juice. Really? Like how oh, have you I had water you had watermelon? I juice. love watermelon juice. Watermelon you juice. Watermelon. You, you put it in the blender. You make up with juice. So we do a little bit of agave and yeah. a little bit of lemon. Agave is a low glycemic sweetener. And it's a really great. Uh, it's a great okay. alternative as well. Sugar, it's something right? really cool. Like so do you lean for any kind of alcohol for summer drinks? Are there some liquors that are more? Uh, are, Russell's doing his Tom Cruise call. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm literally in a room full of beautiful women. I don't have a choice. <laughs> that looks good. I think oh, you're going to yeah. like that. that it's good. like a mason jar. I kind of love that. I do love a mason jar. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Awesome. What are you adding here? So this is just watermelon, agave, fresh lemon juice, and then some black tea on top. Ooh, wow. that's sweet. Yeah. Oh, that so looks so delicious. pretty. <laughs> Territory. <laughs> Something's fun, not too sweet, nice, like sour, it? fresh. Do get your drink back, guys. It's fantastic. <laughs> okay, now, Christelle. <laughs> Christelle requested a drink featuring the cucumber. So what do you have for Christelle? Yes. Okay, cucumber is awesome. And it's a flavor that people really do like love it. these days. You don't hear that often. Cucumber is awesome. <laughs> oh, cucumber's great. You know, you know what I do? I actually, um, I do uh, drinks with cucumber and put chili powder in it. Mm. Really? That's a very Latino thing yeah. to do in, like, my neighborhood. So, yeah. Ch chili powder, cayenne pepper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love and tequila. Absolutely. And tequila. Oh. I love me uh, some tequila. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you start out with a 
little bit of a cucumber gin. Yeah. We're gonna cucumber do some. Cucumber gin. Where do you get that? Uh, the liquor store. Yeah. yeah. There's actually a really great gin that's uh, naturally cucumber. Yeah. Uh, naturally cucumber infused. Thanks, Rose. Yeah. Cucumber. And uh, what ends up happening? I'm gonna go to my fingers on. Yeah, there. yeah. We're running out of time. Whip this one up. <laughs> She'll drink it. And then this one is gonna actually have cucumber, a little bit of mint. Mm. To make it nice and sexy. Oh, someone's Man. jealous. All right, there we jealous. go. There we go. Yes. All right. And uh, I'm gonna shake it up, and then we're gonna top it off with a little bit of tonic water. Is this so a little bit of a, a twist on a mojito? What's up? It's a little bit mojito like. It's more like a twist on a uh, gimlet. A little bit of a gimlet. A gimlet. A gimlet. A gimlet. Top it off with a little bit of tonic water. To know you like okay. to be a little bit bitter. Okay, okay but absolutely. Let's get a cocktail. Or a okay, we gotta get, I'll hand this off to her. What do we do to make it pretty? A little mint. Little, I'll make it pretty. And then you okay. slap it. Smack it around. Okay, smack them. Stacey's yeah. dying for a spicy cocktail. <laughs> what are we gonna do for Stacey? Don't spicy. Drink. Okay, I do guys. Give myself a cocktail. So I love a margarita. What we're doing is we're doing a jalapeno hibiscus margarita. Oh, thank you. We're going to diffuse our tequila with a little bit of hibiscus. Okay, get that easy. That's the hibiscus? Yeah, look how beautiful that wow, color is. And we're doing a little elderflower liqueur. Okay. Wow. Elderflower and hibiscus, and then jalapeno makes it spicy, and the tequila just gives it the kick. Absolutely. Right. And then yeah. you got that nice little bit of lime. We're going to add a nice little agave. Okay. okay. And what that's going to end up doing. Now, do you order the margaritas at your cocktail? I do love a tequila. I don't always order a margarita. But, you know, I've noticed that the jalapeno and tequila combination has become quite popular. Yeah, it's very yeah. popular. Right? Oh, and very I, feel like, I like the spice. So I, I try to look for things like that. And the, okay. the secret to it is you don't want to overwhelm anybody with the spice. Mm -hmm. Right. No, you want to overwhelm them with the alcohol. Absolutely. <laughs> We're not getting a blender. Here's a little secret about doing your glasses too. If you only half rim it, you give the, the customer or your guest the choice. Oh, oh, that might be the best thing we've learned all day. That is really <laughs> important. You give them a choice. Yeah. Absolutely. I love that. That way yeah, you don't have to ask them. The salt. Some yeah. people can't yeah. handle it. Yeah. I don't, I don't know, know if really I can handle the salt. And it dehydrates you a little bit, especially. You can't handle the salt. Here we go, guys. We're out of time, so Russell's going to make me a shandy in the break. Go to our website to find out how you can do that. Our thanks to Russell Davis. We're going to toast all of you for summer. Have a great summer, and we'll be right back. Country superstar Hunter Hayes hits the stage with this new song that's going to be one of the songs of this summer. Next. So happy birthday, Stacey. So, you know, the new season of your hit series, Love, Lust, and Run, premieres on June 12th. What can we expect this season? Oh, it's uh, a ride, and there are some hot messes. Oh, excellent. But it's really worth it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Well, thank you, Dawn, for coming. I'm giving you the knife oh, because you to make I want you to cut that bad back. boy. I just want to thank you so much for this cake. This makes me so happy. You I feel like that. let's oh. cut everybody really big pieces. Yeah. You can see Christella live at the Brava Theater in San Francisco, California, this Saturday night, the 30th at 7.30 and 10 p.m. And June 5th to the 7th at the Brea Improv in Brea, California. Check out our website for ticket info. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for giving us your afternoon or your morning. Thank you for coming. We appreciate that you watch our show and that you like us. Everybody have a great day and take a little time to remember what Memorial Day is all about and to enjoy the view.